Hi, so today is October 28th um, in the morning and we're up early because today is the release of the uh, Under Armour Curry 3. I'm gonna be picking up a pair at Foot Locker today. Um, Curry 3 black and yellow with camouflage just got sold out online. So I figured if I couldn't get it online this time, then I'm gonna go ahead and just pick it up at the store. So, yeah, so I'm gonna be uh, trying to buy that Curry 3 and I'm gonna show you an unboxing video. So, uh, the Curry 3, it's, it's called Neptune. So, yeah, so we're here at the House of Hoops by Foot Locker, so I'm about to pick up the, uh, the new Curry. Yeah, can I, uh, can I have a size 10 of these? Yeah, Hi there everyone, so finally this is going to be the unboxing video of, you know I've been saying it since morning, um, I'll be picking this up, the Under Armour Curry 3. So what I picked up is a Neptune colorway, I think um, the nickname of this colorway is the Rain Man, uh, Neptune, uh, Sable, Metallic. So, yeah, so this is the uh, content. So, and there's good, there's like a card included in there. Really, uh, Steph Curry logo and Under Armour, you notice. It's a SCQ, so it's kind of like a scientific kind of thing to, to, to make it more, um, you know, fancy and dirty. So it's like a scientific uh, make of the shoe. Oh my goodness! You know, when I went to the store, there's like the, um, the black and yellow camouflage collar, and it kind of reminds me of the LeBron A South beaches when it comes to the colorway not the overall silhouette or something like that it's not even close um because lebronites are you know well, wonderful and awesome but this one reminds me of that colorway the gold logo metallic gold on the tongue of the shoe um let me just give you a 360 look of the shoe this is the bottom and the other one there's like a dent on it so carbon fiber um, See like that? There's like a uh, something in there. Let's take a look and check the other one. Yeah, this one has like a small um, damage in there too, but that's okay. So, um, I'm gonna be playing on this on Sunday. I don't know why people hating on these, but for me, the for me it is a. I, I like the look of the shoe. Um. It kind of reminds me of the Air Jordan 22s, where, where it's like um, the midsole is like that too. Yeah, but uh, for me, I, I like I like it. The first time I saw these, I was like, you know, I'm gonna grab one of those. So this is my third curry shoe, by the way. So let's start with the bottoms. Um, so on on the traction, they've actually used the hair bone pattern again. Um, hair bone pattern 
uh, on the Curry ones, they've used the same uh, same traction. And or, on the Curry twos, I guess it is also herring herring bone, but they kind of made it look a little different, like the look uh, the look of the uh, herring bone pattern, kind of like messed up in the. Um, Statically, so this one is uh, goes back to the uh, like a classic herringbone pattern. So on the midsole, on the cushioning, I guess they've used uh, still charge foam, is it? Yeah, so it's a so it's a charge foam for the cushioning. But this one is kind of like softer than the, than the previous models, because. Um, you can see, I can actually uh, press my... Uh, it's, it's like softer than the old ones. But I'm not really sure, man. I, I haven't tried it out yet. But um, I love playing with the Curry 1s and the Curry 2.5s. Um, their cushioning is okay. Um, it's kind of like a little stiff, but you can feel like a little bounce on it. I don't know why uh, Steph Curry play, you know, prefers playing on uh, trash cushioning. Cause they, they, um, other armor has a uh, cushioning which is a lot better than these and yeah i'm, I'm wondering why steph curry doesn't like it or doesn't you know associate it with the with his signature shoes they've added like a carbon plate curry ones there's nothing in there curry just it's like there's plastic but this one is carbon fiber so i like the carbon fiber because they covered it up with with like uh, glossy plastic on it so it doesn't really um, damage much the uh, the carbon fiber and it goes all the way down there they added carbon fiber for stability I guess and support uh, lateral and medial carbon fiber pinions act as stabilizers uh, to assist the foot in transition forward motion so yeah so it helps maintain a torsional Rigidity. So, but and now this is what I'm curious about. This thing right there. So uh, they call this threadborn. So it's like the same materials that they use on uh, parachutes. Threadborn is high tension threads woven intelligently to deliver the ideal mix of directional support and uh, breathability. So it says survival cord. So yeah, so this is the survival cord that they use. That they actually use on parachutes. So I'm uh, very curious on these. Adidas has Prime Knit. So right now Under Armour has this Threadborn. Um, Nike has they were Flying It. I guess it's Flying It. So so the technology technology of the shoe is becoming more and more something like this. So. Yeah, so Under Armour actually took notice of it and associated with the, with the Step Curl 3s. Which is, I guess it is awesome. I like the quality of their shoe. Um, and then for um, for durability, they've added something in there around the shoe to protect it. Because I have the Air Jordan 29s and by the way, that is for me the, uh, on the topmost level basketball performance shoes it's air drum the 29 and the rest of it is under it so the problem about the air drum air jordan 29 is that it don't it doesn't have the protection like these so it, it sometimes it gets it gets damaged and um, if if that air jordan 29 has, has these and um, provides more durability um i don't know what other shoe can um, basically take over the stop over the 29s uh, mesh tongue and this one right here if I'm not mistaken is antifoam like on the curry ones is it antifoam? Uh, this is not really me but it, I think this is antifoam they used uh, on some part of the shoe like this and it's not unlike the curry too it's like so, some of it you know it's plastic and some of it is like i forgot the name of the materials used in there but i like this one better on this part right here you see there the logo and then steph curry's favorite excerpt from the bible which is i can do all things is also in there the molded heel uh 
water chassis is a combination of molded lightweight structural foam and performance textile located from the heel to the middle of quarter delivers on both comfort and protection so it's kind of like works as a protection for the heel so uh, like a Nike shoes right they have like I forgot the term but they also put some plastic in there to protect the heel the, the, on, the other thing I've noticed in there in, 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 on this shoe is it doesn't have the Achilles padding uh, unlike the twos and, uh, and the ones they have the Achilles padding in there this one doesn't have that so uh, I wonder how it's gonna fit me and it says dynamic midsole frames erased from counter blended into the midsoles of UA charge foam so it creates a sensation of dynamic containment so yeah so that's the charge foam and then one piece barber bottom unit uh, provides traction flexibility so this is the one it says also here trust commitment and care TCC so that explains the TCC here too you see there's a TCC in there and then trust uh, trust care and commitment in there the old Pistons jersey when Grant Hill was playing this is gonna look good on those so yeah so I have my Pistons jersey here. Yeah, I, I guess that's gonna work. So I wonder if I should wear my Pistons jersey on the performance reveal. So this is Grant Hill. I'm a 90s kid, so my jersey collection is consists mostly 90s um, players. Try to grow up, so I do have the uh, number 45 Michael, Michael Jordan. Uh, jersey in there too so yeah it's my I also picked up uh, pink laces just to you know um, experiment um, because South Beach LeBron came with like flat um, pink laces it's not uh, I think it, it's it's not as thin as this so um, I'm gonna try it out to see how it's gonna look like with pink laces in there So after lacing it up with pink laces, so this is the result. Isn't that awesome? You see that? The flat lace is like the South Beach LeBron 8. Come on man, the first time I saw these, it kind of reminds me of the colorway of the South Beach 8. Not because of these, but also these. South Beach South Beach Aces also has this kind of mid uh, bottoms, uh, translucent greenish kind of thing with pink laces. I'm thinking of picking up uh, black laces too uh, for, for this. Um, yeah, so this is the review or unboxing video of the Steph Curry or uh, Stephen Curry 3 or Under Armour. Curry 3. So uh, I hope you liked the video. Thank you so much for watching. And please, uh, please wait for the performance review of the shoe. It's gonna come out soon. Thank you. Enjoy. Bye.